Man, it's a nice day, ain't it? Well, I'm going to talk about some hot topics that a couple of my followers have requested that I talk about. So here we go. Let's talk about it. Russian drone hits Romania again, probably for like the 15th time. New drone debris is found near Ukrainian border with Romania. Now, this comes after just a few weeks ago, Romania had just summoned Russia's embassy over another drone attack that occurred back then. Romania ended up detecting a drone going into their territory, and then they found debris right along their border with Ukraine. So then they called up Russia, asking them to explain this. Are there NATO troops in Russia helping with the uh, Ukrainian incursion? Well, I do know there's US mercenary in there, and I do know that there's other mercenaries in there. I do know there's NATO equipment, and of course, Ukrainian troops in, in Russia right now. But since it hasn't been confirmed that any other forces or soldiers are in Russia, I'm just gonna say no for now. Because if I do say yeah, then that would be spreading misinformation because I do not have sources actually telling me that they are in Russia right now. Only U.S. mercenaries and Ukrainian troops. Where's their clashes at the DNC last night? Yes, there was. There were protesters not only inside the building, but there were protesters outside of the building that was clashing with police. I think the day before yesterday, one protester actually ran on stage. So yes, this is this is true. Did a bunch of data get leaked from the US, UK, and Canada? Yes, a lot of people, actually they're saying every citizen of the United States, of Canada, and the UK had their information leaked to the dark web or online, period. Part of the leaks were their names, the mailing address, the social security number, and some records including additional information like other people that have been associated with this person. Some people's passwords was also leaked online too. So be careful with your information. There's a lot of hacking and data breaches going on right now. So a really bad time for technology. Did Ukraine use the high Mars missile systems to strike the bridges in Russia? Yes, Ukraine just confirmed today they did. Did Russia capture New York in Ukraine? Yes, they did. They did that yesterday. So not only did Ukraine take Kursk, but Russia also took New York from Ukraine. So yes, that's true. Did Iran postpone their retaliation? Yes, it seems they're waiting for the United States to either leave or to catch Israel off guard. And just for extra, Finland today uh, confirmed that they're thinking about letting NATO troops train on the Russian border under tense situations, which are pretty much like now. And they'll be finalizing this agreement in the fall. And yes, Biden did approve a secret nuclear strategy to get ready for confrontation with Russia, China, and North Korea, which sounds like the United States is getting ready for nuclear war. They will never tell you that, but I thought I'll put that out there now. This is all the latest, more news next.